Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up the distance grabber pointer, point at a distance object, and then press our grab button to automatically snap that object to our hands interactor. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at, and it really helps to fund these videos. So we're in a simple scene where we have an interactable object and we have an interactor on our left controller and our right controller. And in the previous video, we could see that we could cast a pointer and then we could grab an object at the end of the pointer and move it round. What we're going to do in this video instead is use a distance grabber pointer. And what that will allow us to do is point the pointer at an object at a distance. And then when we press our grab button, it'll move that object to our hand interactor. So we're not controlling it at the end of a pointer. To set that up, all we need to do is right click on our hierarchy, go down to Tilia, then to prefabs, then to interactions then to interactors, and now we just want to add the point interactors distance grubber. So we're gonna add one of these and we're gonna copy and paste it. So we've got one for each controller and I'll move them both down to the bottom. And I'll just rename these distance grubber left and distance grubber right. And all we need to do is set these up accordingly. So on the distance grubber left, the distance grubber facade, all we need to do is provide it an interactor, the interactor that it's gonna be linked to. So if we look in our tracked alias and then in the left controller alias, we already have the left interactor set up. So I can just grab, drag and drop that into there. And let's do that for the distance grabber right as well. So we'll go into the right controller alias, get the right interactor and drag and drop it onto the interactor in the distance grabber facade. So those two are now set up. What we can also do is change the transition duration. If it's set to zero, what this will mean is when we point at a distant object and press our grab button, it will immediately snap to our hand. We can have that transition over a time by changing this transition duration. So I'm just gonna select both of these and then I'm going to set the transition duration to about 0.5 seconds. And there we go. That's all we need to do to get this set up. So let's jump into the scene and we can see this working. So now we're in the scene. We can see if I put my controller towards the pig, we get this cursor appear telling us that our pointer has found something that we can distance grab. And then if I press my grab button, we can see it moves to our interactor and we automatically grab it. And if we throw it away and do it with the other controller, we can see we can grab it with either controller now. And there we go, we've set up distance grabbing. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.